sorry. Hey guys, hey guys, Tom here. Got my coffee ready to go. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know what turned on that quick. Anyhow, how's everybody doing? I just wanted to first off say thank you so much, um, everyone for in the fragrance community that has been so incredibly supportive and generous, and it's just a great great community and I wanted to say thanks to everybody for watching my videos. I've definitely had a blast doing them here recently. Um, like I said, it's a fairly new thing for me, but um, I love sharing my opinion uh, with you guys and uh, seeing what your opinions are. So uh, please keep the comments coming. Please keep watching. Thank you so much. Um, I've been doing so many, it seems like, um, heavier, serious fragrances lately. Um, Jubilation 25, uh, Black Afghano, um, Bois de Argent. Uh, I just thought maybe with spring around the corner I would lighten it up a little and do a spring and summer fragrance. So, excuse me, milk mustache. Okay, so. Bond number nine, Fire Island. Um, this is by Perfumier um, Michael Al Almarac, I believe it is, uh, for Loris Rahm. Um, it's one of the beach scents that Bond number nine uh, introduced. Um, the other ones are Andy Warhol's Montauk, which is supposed to be a beach at twilight idea. Um, the Hamptons uh, is another one, Coney Island. Um, Ode to New York and Fire Island. This one uh, on their website, it comes in in the bond number nine website. It comes in the hundred uh, milliliter bottle for two hundred and thirty, and the fifty milliliter is one hundred and sixty. Was introduced in two thousand and six, and it's the twenty sixth scent from them. Um, it's supposed to be the scent of bronzing, um, sun baked skin and suntan oil at the beach is what it's supposed to be. Um, as for the presentation of the bottle, let me get the, <laughs> it's a star, um, it's gold, it's got a plastic cap and a blue top, and it's a flashy. Take everything that I say with a grain of salt, you guys, if it's good for you and you like it, awesome. I mean, it's so subjective, like the appearance and and smells and it's it's everyone's personal opinion so if you love it the presentation awesome it's just it's not for me um but it's nice nice scent um the scent actually um has a top supposedly of cardamom and ozone i don't get the cardamom in it honestly um the mid neroli and white musk and then the base uh skin musk um tuberose and patchouli what I get from it, um, an initial spray, I, like I said, I don't get the cardamom. I do get that ozone air um, kind of feeling. Um, and what I get in the 80s, and there were these commercials all the time, and everybody in, in school had this stuff called Ban de Soleil, um, which was supposed to be for the San Tropez tan. <clears throat> and um, it was an orange stuff in a bottle. And everybody thought it was so cool it had like an SPF of two so they would all go out and cover themselves from head to toe in it and just bake in the sun for like eight hours at a time and turn absolutely black in the summer and everybody probably now has skin cancer but that's what I get from this is the smell of like the beach um, fresh air and band of soleil um, what what it really is is a big white floral with a musk base I think um, it makes it easier for men to wear, I think, because of the musk, so it's definitely unisex. The musk tones down that tuberose, um, which can be kind of feminine, um, but because of the musk and the little hint of patchouli in there, I think it to to turns it down enough um, that it's a good scent for guys, too. I think it's a fresh, clean scent. Um, a lot of people talk about it being a skin scent um, and is the smell of musky bodies. I get a fresh clean scent. I don't get the muskiness very much. It's a clean, um, light musk smell to the base, which tones down that floral a little bit. Uh, the projection on it, I would say average. Um, after about three hours, it tones down to the point where it becomes a close skin set skin scent, longevity, um, 
as good as a skin scent, uh, but you get about three or four hours of other people being to sell, uh, smell it. When to wear it, that's the whole issue for me with this. Um, it's a great scent, but to find the time when it's right to wear. Uh, I would say definitely in the summer, shorts, sandals, going to the beach, uh, maybe going to the mall during a summer day. As far as like a dress-up scent, I don't see it. Um, as far as a fall-winter scent, I don't see it. Wearing with a suit and tie or dress clothes, not really. Um, <clears throat> I would say summer casual or in the winter time, maybe if there's a blizzard and you're alone and want to be cheered up <laughs> and reminded of the summer, definitely. But it's a nice, clean, fresh floral. Is it worth the money? Um, if you can get it at a discount website, um, I would say go for it. Uh, to me personally, I think it's a lot of money to spend for something that kind of smells like suntan lotion. Um, but it's a, it's a nice, clean, happy fragrance. Um, and it's def definitely in that summer, um, spring category. So I like it. Uh, would I spend the full price of $160 or $230 on it? No. I think there are other selections by Bond Number no. 9 that are better. Um, and more unique. So if you tried out any of the other beach scents, I'd love to hear what you think of them. Uh, in particular, that Montauk uh, by Andy Warhol sounds kind of interesting. I've heard um, good and bad things about Coney Island. Um, some say it's not impressive at all, so have not actually tried that one. But from what I read, um, they say that this one is one of the better of, of the beach scents. So that's it, guys. Have a good night. Talk to you soon. Bye. Back to the 80s and in San Tropez almost all they wear is Bando Soleil. Oui, oui. Bet you didn't think that I could do this. Hey Mickey! Oh Mickey, como estas? Como estas? Me gustas más? Hey Mickey! Bet you think that's all I can do. Oh, Mickey, que tristeza, no comprendes, no, la mano que me das, me acaricia el corazón. Oh, Mickey, tan hermoso, no comprendes, no, son tipos como tú, Mickey. Y arme mi, Mickey, sí, Mickey, no corazón, Mickey. Oh, Mickey, que tristeza, no comprendes, no, la mano que me das, me acaricia el corazón. Oh, Mickey, tan hermoso, no comprendes, no, son tipos como tú, Mickey. Yami me, Mickey, see, Mickey, no corazón, me gana mozo, no comprendes, no, so ticos como tú, Mickey. Y por todas las personas que viven en México o en España, um, que les gustan um, Fire Island, um, band number nine, um, lo siento que hablo español muy malo, pero he tenido cuatro años de español en um, el colegio y cinco años en la universidad, pero. Um, no puedo hablar muy bien, uh, lo siento mucho, pero es um, una fragancia excelente para el uh, verano y me gusta mucho. So, um, muchas gracias y adiós.